show you how to redirect your dog's chewing onto one of its toys. It's almost impossible to stop dogs chewing. They love it. And there's nothing wrong with it so long as they're not chewing the furniture or your possessions. Redirecting is a three-step process. First of all, you need to find a toy which your dog is allowed to chew, such as a piece of wood or a, a raggy doll or something. Then you take your dog by the collar, move it away. And thirdly, you give it the toy that it is allowed to chew. So there's those three steps very quickly. We'll go through them again in detail. The key is that we're not actually stopping keen eye from chewing. We're just redirecting it. So many dogs and puppies love to chew. There's nothing wrong with that. We've just got to help them understand some things they're not allowed to chew and other things it's fine to chew them. Here we are a little bit later on in the consultation and Kenai is chewing the table again. This is one of the big issues with Kenai. He's been chewing this table for several months. So it's a habit that's going to take a few hours at least to break. All we do is move him away very quietly and calmly. We don't give him any attention by speaking to him. And we simply redirect him back onto his stick. And look how quickly he trots off with it this time. Again, Kenai just needs to be shown the correct way to behave. He doesn't need to be shouted at, he doesn't need to be tapped on the nose. He just needs to be shown a kind and gentle way to behave correctly. As with all things, practice makes perfect. So take your time, stay calm and just keep giving your dog the same calm, consistent consequences of actions. And your dog will get it in the end. If your dog insists on chewing the couch, after you've redirected them onto their little chew toy, then you can consider putting them into an isolation. You leave them there until they've stopped barking, and when they come out, they'll think twice about going back to chewing the couch. Make sure your dog knows which toys are its to chew by putting them into its pen or handing them and saying, this is for Molly. Distraction is another word for the simple method that we've just gone through. Of course, it's always better if you can actually move the things off the floor. Here, there's some wire meshing and a box of nails lying on the ground. Gemma's getting stuck into them. We all like leave things around, but if you can move things off the ground, do that. It's so much simpler. It keeps you sane, it keeps you calm, and it prevents the dog from ever even making mistakes. Set your dog up to win. All we're going to do now is bring over a little distraction, and you'll see how quickly Jenna goes, fine, yep, that's my toy. I'm happy to chew that. Perfect. Of course, inside the site, there's a whole load more videos about how to stop chewing and mouthing and biting and stealing things. But just remember, there's always those practical things such as not leaving things around on the floor. And the most important thing of all is establishing yourself as the pack leader. If you're not the pack leader, then of course your dog never really will take any notice of you and everything will become a gain. That's all covered off inside the theonlinedogtrainer.com.